Hello, I'm Patricia Daly. I'm a geographer. I'm the Helen Morag Fellow and Tutor in Geography at Jesus College, Oxford, and a Professor in Human Geography of Africa at the School of Geography and the Environment. I teach the human geography components of the course. These include development geographies, geopolitics, economic globalization, environmental governance, and topics related to the philosophy and methods of geography. My research interests are in African politics and political ecology and cover topics such as political and gender-based violence, refugees, ethnicity, citizenship, and sustainable peace. I am one of two geography fellows that is members of the governing body at Jesus College. The other is Professor Richard Grenier, who is a physical geographer and associate professor in biodiversity and biogeography at the School of Geography and the Environment. He teaches the physical aspects of the geography course. We have two part-time tutors called lecturers who assist us with teaching. If you choose to study geography at Oxford, you'll be about 90 students distributed across several colleges. The course introduces students to key themes, concepts and issues that are of interest to geographers, ranging from ecological and climate change, biodiversity, the Anthropocene, sustainability, to geopolitics, finance, childhood and youth, and contemporary urban life. We also study the history of the discipline, the philosophical and methodological approaches that have governed what geographers do historically and in the present. The course is divided into two parts. The first year, which we call prelibs, and the second and third year, which together we call the honor school. The first year course consists of four papers that are examined at the end of the year. These are firstly, Earth Systems Processes, which is our physical paper, and which is divided into three components, atmosphere, biosphere, and lithosphere. The second paper is Human Geography, also divided into three components, space and place, networks and mobilities, and power and identities. Both papers will get a number of individual lectures tailored to each component. For the Human Geography paper, which I lecture on, will cover topics such as borders, bodies, migration, place, and globalization. The third paper is Geographical Controversies. And the aim of this paper is to introduce students to debates and the importance of evidence in arguments. It's our critical thinking paper. Students cover historical and contemporary controversial topics, such as climate change, desertification, and close to home, roads must fall. The fourth paper is Geographical Techniques. Here students are introduced to statistics, geographical information systems, qualitative methods, and their application in geography. In the first year, you'll undertake UK-based physical and human geography fieldwork, and will submit a report for each one as part of your examinations. All lectures are taught in the School of Geography to all of your year group. In the second year, you'll start the Honours School. And here you'll take six papers, one compulsory paper, two foundational papers, and three optional papers. The compulsory paper is geographical thought. Here, you'll engage with the philosophical and methodological foundations of the discipline, how they've changed over time, and how they inform how we practice geography. Lectures will cover topics such as Darwinism, feminism, Marxism, post-colonialism, relationality, fieldwork, and policy impacts. You can then select your foundation papers according to whether you want to choose a physical or a human geography pathway. But if you can't decide, or you like both sides of the discipline, that's also okay. There are three foundational papers from which you have to choose two. These are Earth Systems Dynamic, an advanced physical geography paper covering the scientific framework 
concepts and techniques that help us to understand the physical environment. The second paper is environmental geography, a mix of physical and human geography that addresses the causes and consequences of environmental issues and how we manage the environment. Lectures cover topics such as theories of environmentalism and the environment, resources, climate change, species extinction, and disease ecology. The third foundational paper is Space, Place and Society, the Advanced Human Geography paper, again covering key concepts such as geopolitics, biopolitics, modernity, consumption, development, gender, colonialism and anti-colonialism, and digital infrastructures. Each foundation paper has 16 lectures and the lectures will take place in the School of Geography with all of your year group. You can choose any two of these foundational papers. All the lectures for the foundation paper and most of the tutorials are in the second year. Optional papers, you'll choose three. The list of options are posted in the October of your second year. We try as far as is possible to have a good range of options and a balance between physical and human geography ones. We can't always guarantee that the options you like will be available to your year group. Some of the current options are conservation, complexity, the politics and society of China, critical development geographies, geographic data science, public policy, and geography for the Anthropocene. You will take one option in your second year and two in your third year. You'll sit an examination paper and submit, it, and submit an extended essay of 4,500 words for each optional paper. In the third year of your second, third term of your second year, you will, you will normally go on a field trip with members of your year group. Destinations in the last three years have been Berlin for human geographers, those taking the SPS um, foundation paper, and Tenerife for those doing the physical and environmental geography foundational paper. At the end of the second year, you'll submit a four and a half thousand word field work report as part of the final examination. There are no written examinations in the second year. In the summer of the second year, you will embark on fieldwork for your dissertation. The field trip that you will have done to Berlin or to Tenerife will enable you to develop advanced research skills that you can deploy for your dissertation. You'll be expected to produce a 12,000 word dissertation on the topic of your choice. It is a valuable piece of independent study that some students find difficult to begin with, but, off, but often go on to enjoy and through which they learn to hone their research and writing skills. The topic of your dissertation could arise from something you have studied in one of your options or that you've read, so long as it's of geographical relevance and will not put you in danger. Dissertation research normally involves fieldwork, but can be desk-based if you're using large data sets such as climate data. You'll be examined for the compulsory, foundational and optional papers in the final term of your third year. Now teaching. The department stipulates the minimum number of tutorials you should have for each paper, both in prelims and in the honor school. In college, we teach the tutorials. We teach to our strengths. And if we don't have the expertise to teach a topic, we exchange teaching for a tutor who may be in another college, or we buy in teaching from an expert. Tutorials normally play, take place in pairs. You're given the assignment a week before, and you're expected to complete it before the tutorial. In the tutorial, we'll discuss how you approach the question and the literature and related ideas. You'll get verbal and written feedback on your assignment. 
if after hearing all that, you would like to apply to Oxford, we would be delighted. Our standard offer is three grade A's at A level, one of it which should be an A style. We also accept advanced higher or higher level in the IB or another equivalent, but you don't need to have a qualification in geography. If you put Jesus College as first choice for your allocated Jesus College, you'll most likely be interviewed. Decisions about whom to interview are made on the basis of information on the applicant's UCAS forms, past and predicted examination performance, and where available contextualized GCSE data. Interviews will take place in early December. If you're called for interview at Jesus College, you'll have two interviews, one in human and one in physical geography, both lasting about 20 minutes. We understand that candidates can get anxious at interviews and we do all we can to ensure that you feel comfortable. You may also be asked in the interview to, to comment on a variety of graphical, cartographic and tabulated data, which you are given during the interview. I may be asked questions arising from other aspects of your geography course. In effect, we are assessing your ability to think independently and your problem solving skills. You'll hear the results of the interview in January and we'll confirm our offer after results come out in the summer. If you want to defer your entry, that will have to be stated on your UCAS form. That's the end, but please contact the admissions office at Jesus College if you have any questions. We, will, we look forward to seeing you in the autumn. Thank you.